Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be another tag video and it's going to be the Moody Reader tag. I'm just going to dive straight into the questions and the first question is do you consider yourself a mood reader? Yes I do, majority of what I read is based on the mood that I'm in um, and what I'm in the mood for. Uh, so I do always try to pick books based on that because I find that it would be a more successful reading month um, reading year and just reading in general if I pick what I'm in the mood for. Question number two is do you set yourself a TBR and do you stick to it? Yes I do set myself a TBR and no I don't always stick to it. I will normally read two or three of the books I've set for myself and certainly at the beginning of the year usually when I'm making a real effort to stick to um, ways of choosing my TBR uh, then I am more likely to, to stick to it. Um, but then as the year goes on, I then have to start picking up books based on how I'm feeling at the time. And when I set my TBR, I try to think about what I'm in the mood for. What have I been reading recently um, and enjoying recently to try and pick um, the next book that I'm going to read and the next set of TBR. So it's a bit mixed really on that one. Question number three, does the mood of a book affect you emotionally? Does it affect your mood in the moment? Um, it affects me emotionally. Yes, I can feel anger, happiness, sadness. I can cry. Um, do I let that influence how I, my general mood with the general world? Not that I would say. Um, it's not something I've ever noticed about myself anyway. Question number four. When you're feeling sad, do you prefer to read sad, happy or neutral books? I don't think I actually have a preference. I probably lean towards more books that I know I'm going to enjoy uh, rather than the actual tone of the book. Um, so, yes, so when I am feeling a bit low, a bit sad, I will pick up something. Either I'll reread something that I've read before and have enjoyed or I'll read something like that that I've read before. Question number five, do you read to escape, to learn or to critically reflect? Escape. Um, I, don't, I don't read romance because I want to learn from it. Um, I don't read fantasy because I want to learn from it. I read it to escape from the world I'm currently inhabiting. Um, and yeah, that, that's what reading is to me. It's complete escapism. Question number six, what is a book that made you laugh out loud? Anything by Terry Pratchett. Anything at all by Terry Pratchett. I love his books. Uh, they, they never fail to make me laugh. Question number seven, what is a book that made you cry or really moved you? Uh, Fool's Fate by Robin Hobb. I sobbed for about half of that book. And it's quite a chunk of a book. It's a good 600 plus pager. Um and the second half of it made me cry my heart out uh, for those main characters i just it just uh it just hurt it just hurt question number eight what is a book that you didn't know you felt about it um i can't think i know there have been a few in the book club that we've read so i'll just stick a couple on the screen here but yes um they are books that you more read to critically reflect rather than escape into. So, uh, yeah, some of those definitely have left me not knowing what I what I think and what I feel. Question number nine. Are you more likely to read on a sunny or a cloudy day? Neither. Um, I try to read a little bit every day, regardless of the weather, regardless of mood, um, because it's my hobby and it's what I do to rest and to relax. Question number ten. Do you need to set the mood uh, to be able to read? So like candles, specific lighting, run a bath. No, I can read. Um, my mum says I could read if she pe pegged me to the washing line by my ears. Or at least she used to say that when I was a kid. Um, I'm a bit too tall for that now. Uh, but yes, I can pretty much read anywhere. I can read on a car while it's moving. I can read um, while walking to work. Um, I can read while in the bath, I can read with the room lit up by candles, it doesn't matter to me, I can read with the main light on and the TV in the background, I don't, I don't need a specific setting to, to do that. 
And the final question, question is 11, is do you leap from book to book or do you need a break between each? Depending on what I've read, I can leap from book to book. There are some books, um, so going back to False Fate uh, by Robin Hobb, I need a little bit of a break in between. Um, but mostly, if that is the case, then I tend to just need a change in genre. Um, so if I've read some real heavy fantasy, then I'll switch back to romance um, just to keep the reading momentum going because I just need to, usually I just need to switch up what I'm reading because I just need to lighten the mood or I just need to read something with a bit more depth, depending on how I'm feeling. So that was the Moody Reader tag. As always, I tag all of you to do it too. I will leave the questions in the description box down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. And I put videos up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye.